But uh, I, you know, there is a market in Asia. Yeah, a huge market. Um, like I said, it's not just Latin countries; it's also Asian countries. Here's a good anecdote. Um, when I was studying Spanish in, in school in in Spain in Madrid, there was I think he was Korean or Chinese. I think it was Chinese. He wanted to speak. Um, Chinese, uh, Spanish as well, but the problem was he didn't say a word. He didn't say a word, and the teacher's like, "Well, why aren't you talking?" And they find out that they wouldn't say anything until he was a hundred percent sure he was going to say it right. Yeah. And it goes against anything that's Anglo-Saxon in practicing. Like we will say it, we get it wrong, we learn, we move on, we get it wrong, we move on, we learn. This was like, no, it has to be perfect, and until it's perfect, I don't talk. Yeah. That, that's hard for language learning. It I sounds think. pretty much like a lot of French people yeah. because I mean you many. Think? Yeah, I, th I think well, similar idea because I have a lot of friends who, 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 who I know yeah. speak English and and but they constantly say I don't speak English yeah. or I speak very very bad English mm. and I know I've heard them speaking and I know that their English is absolutely fine but no it's not perfect because it's not their mother tongue like it's not this is not my language yeah. it's fine yeah. I know they have an accent I know I make mistakes it's okay it's. It's not a problem. But they will always feel like... But, but I also think that that's the idea because the French language is so complicated and they, you have to study it, study it so hard from a very young age. And still, even if you do that and you're a French person, you live in France and you've done all your studies here in France, you still will pretty probably make a lot of mistakes uh, as an adult because it's very, very complicated. Yeah, it is indeed. And, and they will also compliment foreigners when, when they speak... French really well. They say, "Oh, how long have you been living here? Oh, your French is really good." You know, like it's, it's basically I, I'm sorry saying to for a foreigner. You. Is, yeah. is that that? Wow. No, I I just get corrected. Oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I just get get told that no, it's it's c'est une pomme. <laughs> you know, like in English, you know, we have no like no gender on yeah. on many of our words. You know, masculine, feminine. We, we just say it, yeah. and then I get corrected all the time. So that you got congratulated, you must, <laughs> your French must be, must be spectacular. Spectacular. Just a, one last question for you. Who are you targeting with your, uh, with your virtual reality language class? Is it, you know, companies or private people? Private, private? Yeah, um, absolutely. Well, we, we, we target companies and academies. We want to get our headset to those who want to practice low level, a two level conversation all the way up to C1. And we're targeting companies for training as well as schools and academies or language learning academies so that they can give it to their students to practice as homework, for instance. Um, the moment you leave France, in France, for instance, the moment you leave your class of English, you're going to listen to French. And that was my problem. When I was in France and I had to move to Australia, uh, to sorry, to Madrid, I took all my Spanish courses here. I thought I was amazing until I got there and I knew nothing. Yeah. And the same thing happened when I was in Australia, moving to France. I learned French in Australia and I came here and I was just lost. <laughs> so it is um, very important to keep that immersion, and that's why that's why we're targeting these this demographic. Yeah. And for the moment, it's in English, only in English, to learn English. We're starting with English. Yeah. We can, um, we can expand to French and yeah. Spanish okay. afterwards. And when people want to test your application, where do they go? This, they have to come to our website, yeah. playtospeak.com, and just send us a message or contact me. Uh, you cannot download the game online. Um, you have to, it is through business to business Okay. Uh, deal. So it won't be really available for the individual. Okay. But the companies who are interested in this can Absolutely. go to play2speak.com. Absolutely. Uh, thank you very much. This was a pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. Well, that wraps up uh, this edition of So French. We hope you have enjoyed it. You can listen to us on all podcast platforms like iTunes, Spotify, and TuneIn Radio. And we're also on Instagram. Our account is at So French News. Please follow us. 
And if you like French music, check out our free playlist on Spotify, which we update regularly. Just search for So French Music or click the link on our website. And if you would like to contact us, please mail us on news at sofrench.news. You can also listen to us on air on World Radio Paris, the station with a lot of excellent shows in English, not only in Paris, but also at the Côte d'Azur around Monaco, Nice and Cannes. So French is broadcast at 2.30 local time every Saturday, every two weeks, and then rerun during the week. We'll be back in two weeks with a new episode of So French. We hope you'll join us then. Thanks for listening. Au revoir. Au revoir.